Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about something very interesting and compelling. There was some news that was reported on Yahoo.com uh, today about uh, there was a former Israeli space security chief. I don't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, uh, Haim uh, Eshed, and he stated that there was some that denizens you could say, on our mundane plane, a.k.a. planet Earth, have been in communications with extraterrestrial alien beings. Now, I know a lot of this sounds preposterous and outlandish, but we are in the year 2020. Is anything considered, you know, ludicrous right now? Is anything ridiculous or outlandish? Well, anyway, he also stated that Donald Trump knew about this. He was cognizant of this, but he was suppressing information because he didn't want to put people uh, on Earth in like a state of trepidation and fear. He didn't want to cause any panic or mass hysteria, and maybe it could be even global, um, you know, pandemonium or hysteria or what have you. This is, um, it's also something that is interesting to stated that there was an agreement, like an agreement contract, between aliens and the United States. This is like um, this is something called like the Galactic Federation. It's been, what, what this union has been referred to with the United States and these supposed alien beings. And the thing about as far as this agreement and contract goes, it was stated that there was an agreement evidently between these um between the United States and these alien beings and one of the things of the agreement was uh something uh, it was an underground uh base that was deep below the surface of Mars you know there's um the thing about this is this is all falling near you know very close to the time we're having the transit Jupiter and Aquarius and when Saturn is going to enter Aquarius as well well the solar eclipse is coming up there's a lot of big transition a lot of change uh, shifting of energy going on right now at the very least this might open us up to the possibility more and those people out there that might be a little bit egotistical and arrogant and think that we're the soul life form that might even open their eyes and whether this is proven to be fallacious or voracious or a true fact or fallacy I think a lot of this is going to make people wonder and speculate more about whether life does actually exist on other planets or not and I mean it's hard for me to see this as being very plausible but again we're in the year 2020 is anything is anything outlandish or preposterous at this time it shouldn't shock me that this that there was a story about this whether it's actually going to be proven true or not that remains to be seen and the thing about it is the first thing you might want to get is that we're going to have I mean the solar eclipse in Sagittarius is going to take place on December 14th when we have solar eclipses in astrology, they can often signify and denote very significant monumental events. They could be life alter have life altering implications. And the thing about it too, and in Sagittarius, the sign of expanding horizons, the sign of expansion. The sun is about life. So keep that in mind. It's about maybe we open ourselves up to the possibility of life being elsewhere, expanding our belief system. And, um, you know, Sagittarius is the sign of philosophy. Another thing, too, I mean, we're going to have also a transit Mercury later in the month is going to, we're going to have, I should say, first the sun, transit sun is going to conjunct the galactic center on like December 18th and going back to the Sun being about life maybe we become you know again more open-minded about life on other planets the galactic center is a very you know very obviously could be a significant uh, degree in point in astrology we're talking about this this 
connection with some of these Americans and supposedly these Americans and aliens called the Galactic Federation, I believe. And we're going to have the sun, again, which is about life, conjunct the galactic center degree. It's very ironic that we're having this talk, this, these reports out on this right now. And another thing, too, is that when the transit Jupiter uh, hits Aquarius, um, I believe that's December 19th, that could be a time where the truth might come out, be unveiled, because Jupiter is about the truth. Aquarius can be connected with UFOs, aliens, extraterrestrial life. It could be a time where we find out more of the truth about this, whether it is fact or fallacy. We're also going to have the um, transit Mercury and Sagittarius is going to be squaring uh, Neptune till like December 19th. And Sagittarius, I'm sorry, Mercury is in the sign of distortion, enlargement, exaggeration in squaring Neptune, a planet of fallacy, um, deception, well, say deception, duplicity. I mean, I, I believe it would be fairly safe to say in all probability this is at least exaggerated to some degree. This story has been distorted to some level. On December uh, 17th, we're going to have transit Saturn enter Aquarius. So we can find out maybe a little bit more at that time about the government and how it's connect, maybe connected with this story about um, you know, ex this extraterrestrial life, UFOs. And the thing about this too is there's another thing that's going to uh, going to be taking place. Another transit, I believe it's right now, it, it is taking place as far as the conjunction with Uranus, uh, Uranus and the Black Moon Lilith and Taurus. The planet Uranus, of course, can be associated with uh, extraterrestrial life, UFOs, science fiction as well. Maybe this is like a science fiction story for all we know. And the Black Moon Lilith being conjunct with it can indicate an unveiling of sorts. That's over something that was suppressed for some time. And being in Taurus, some people may not agree with this. I would say Taurus is the sign associated with Earth. So it can be something very monumental regarding our planet that we're going to find out. Maybe this is true. I think that what the transits tells me is that some of this may actually be true. It definitely gives it a greater propensity for this to be somewhat true. I really don't believe, though, that it's 100% true. And I think that we're going to find out at some point that some of this was fabricated. This could just be an act of vengeance against Donald Trump. Maybe this person... Uh, I don't, again, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, Haim Eshed, if he has any personal animosity toward Donald Trump. That's something that to me is unclear at this, at this point in time. Another thing that I noticed as well, and I was looking at something interesting, you know, with the transit to the United States uh, chart. And the one I'm talking about is the one with the Sagittarius rising. Some may agree with it, some may not. It seems like that's a, a strong consensus. I believe people do use that chart. And at this time, we're having transit north node, at least in loose conjunction, to the United States, natal, Mars, and Gemini in the seventh house. And to me, what's significant about that transit is that the, the north node is about the future and destiny. It's hitting the planet Mars in the United States chart, or at least very close proximity to it, even if it's not technically a conjunction to it. And in the seventh house, seventh house is about agreements. So it's something uh, to me, contracts, this could be some very critical time that it's in, and they're talking about this supposed contract agreement between the United States, some people in the United States, and these extraterrestrial beings. 
and really there's not much more for me uh, to get at you know at this you know time as far as this goes and whether uh, this is going this is a fact or whether it is a fallacy but you know nothing would shock me anymore but I would really have a hard time believing that this thing is a hundred percent true um, you know, voracious and we're going to say um, really something uh, I'm really curious to see how these events unfold over this time when we do have these transits with Jupiter enter, entering Aquarius Saturn entering Aquarius having that solar eclipse take place on the um, on the uh, 14th of December so and I found what was interesting too is that that transit of the North Node at this time and also Mars well the natal I should say the natal Mars in the United States natal chart their Mars is conjunct Donald Trump's son uh, in Gemini very interesting in Gemini the sign of communication and we're talking about the speculation of something you know being uh, being on Mars being some underground you know I don't know what it is like some underground um, base below the surface of Mars maybe it's just having a, in Gemini the sign of communications and very loquacious sign to say the least and it's interesting that the United States Mars again does conjoin Donald Trump's son and then the and then you have the North Node transit North Node falling in uh, connect very close to Mars their NATO Mars right now and also the fact that the North Node and uh, you're talking about Mars and Gemini in the seventh house of contracts and agreements so maybe astrology is just having a little fun with us right now universe being a little bit flippant and uh, but the time but again time will tell we'll let the uh, situation play out and see what's actually true and what isn't at this point in time so anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment until next time people Edwin Arnstein stay back